hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to use search method and in case you missed previous discussion about what is exist method and what is the purpose please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblens channel guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it's helped me a lot in a home screen if you want to learn more about Odoo with the different topics, you can visit the Odoo 17 development tutorial. And by the way, this is the main playlist of the Odoo 17 and 18 development tutorial. And right now we are working on this playlist Odoo ORM methods for version 17 and version 18. All right. And this three playlist is the sub playlist of this main playlist. All right. So first you can refer this playlist if you don't know anything about the Odoo and start from the scratch. One more thing is I already explained Odoo in a detail with the different topics for this is the main playlist of the Odoo development because here it covers version 14, 15 and 16 and once you click here you can see the list of different topic wise playlist available alright and guys don't forget to check community tab I am already posting some exciting questions okay and the, some updates. So let's back to our main topic what is search method okay so first thing is if we are going to any of the records right specifically the list view kanban view calendar view or any other views so here you can see list of records available here right so in the back end side it's called the some ORM methods to fetch the records okay so like that way we also try to extract or let's say fetch from the database all the records like this way so you can see here in the student profile total 16 record is here for the school profile total 19 record is here right so now what we will do is right in the school profile this method we are trying to override like we are using specifically for the search method how we will fetch the records from the backend side i hope you already have a, some idea about the search method because it search itself says a search the record set right so let's say this is our model which is wb.school and here this is what i'm talking about this custom method so you can see already it's comment out and here you can see two print statement is available right once I click here, you can see here it's print with the static data and this is the instance of the current record, right? Because you can see here the self. Now, let's say this is the school profile, right? Here, uh, you have to remember a few things for the search method, okay? So search method provides four different types of parameters domain uh, this is the basic one okay the first thing is the domain then after the limit offset and order by so like this way we have to perform some operations using the search method we don't need to override like same like the create write unlink method right we don't need to require like that way we have to use this method to fetch the data if you search in this add-ons which is community add-ons for the Odoo 17 version if you search here def space search you will get a lot of extended you can see here extended method but in our case we don't need to extend that method because first thing is we have to use that method in our way okay so here the search method we have to pass four different parameters except domain is compulsory i mean it's a required parameter rest three parameter is optional so this is the first condition okay one more thing is in the domain we have to pass something like this like this is the main bracket right inside we have to pass condition for example if i'm not passing any condition that means it will automatically return all the records for the particular model okay and let's say if you are searching if you are applying here filters right like adding some 
filtered so that means it's only get the filtered value for example if i'm going to here and i will search here let's say the name right so you can see at from 19 records i'm i'm getting only 10 records why because it says like name field should be contain web as a keyword so after that it search all the records right with the name field and whatsoever the web related content is available so it will return that records so same thing we have to also apply here the condition okay here one more interesting thing is you cannot add only one but you can also add more than one condition oh well don't worry about this part i will explain in this session okay so this is about the parameter of the search method right now what we will return as a written data type right it's a record set and what is the record set is like whatsoever we are searching the specific model so that rec that models record set we will get okay for example right now if i will search with the search right like this way so what happen is it will automatically return all the records for this wb dot school So let's say once I click here, you can see all these 19 record automatically written with the record set like this way. Okay. So this is the first thing. Another thing is why only this wb.school record set is written. Why not with the different models record, uh, right? The thing is the self what is the self contain right and where this method is placed so this method is placed under this school model so that model name is wb.school so that's the reason we we, we are try, we already written with this record this models record let's say what about different models i want to search right so that, that is very simple search.env then after in a main bracket we have to provide that specific name let's say student search and like this that's it and once i will restart the service by the way if you don't know how to configure or do in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained so here once i click one more time so you can see here the first one it's return this this line number 64 it's written school record set and after that you can see line number 65 it's written student record set right so that means the self means like current model and if you want to pro if you want to search with different model that means you have to search that particular model something like this way self env and then after that model name and then after search now what about the domain if i will not provide right so let's see here self dot search okay so that means i'm getting error message so if you remember the first i already explained like domain is required parameter right so once i click you can see here type error base model dot search missing one required positional argument which is domain okay so that's the reason we have to compulsory pass the domain like this way so this is the blank domain and that means i i want to get all the records okay now what about the filtered records so for the filtered records we have to pass one tuple in the tuple we have to also pass three different parameters like here we already done right you can see here so first parameter is the field name the second parameter which is the operation 
and the third parameter which is the value we have to provide right so here let's say name i like right and the web so this domain we have to pass here so this self dot search in this main bracket we have to pass this tuple that's it and that's called the condition if you want to add some condition you have to provide like this so basically this is the first condition okay if you have a question let's say how to add multiple conditions right then you have to provide here comma and the second condition something like that okay something like that but let's stick with the only one condition at the moment once i click you can see here i'm getting all the record set for the school right without domain and with domain the same model i'm getting only 10 records you can see here you can just compare this line and this line this is without domain and this is with the domain right so like that way you can apply the domain so this is the first thing another thing is if you want to apply some let's say the limit right let's say i want to only get five records so for that you can provide here limit equal to and five so five means that's the record i want to return and once i click so you can see here i'm getting only five records okay one more thing is if you are using pagination logic right so in that case we also need some offset so that means let's say for example offset plus with the zero right and restart the service so what happened is with the zero it starts from the z first position record so it's still we are getting one two three and four records right you can see here uh, like this way right if i will add here one so that means it will skip the first record you can see here the first one is the offset with the zero value right so it's start from the beginning so you can see here one two three four five the five records we are getting in the second time we are also getting the five records only the difference is offset one right so that means the first record it skip and next five record it should be print so you can say two three four five and seven right and let's say if i will add here five so that means after the fifth record the next record would be seven right so seven two till the next five record should be print so let's say here you can see this is the zero after the offset we apply with the five you can see next five record it's display okay another thing is and very interesting so this is all about the offset right now the last condition sorry the last parameter which is the order by okay so here in the order by we have to provide order equal to in the double quote we have to provide id right or let's say the name okay the name and let me restart the service uh, well forgot about this part you have to focus here okay so here order by is the name right you can see all the records it will automatically return with the order by name now 
I am just trying to compare the record side. You can see without order by, I am applying here. That means by default, order by is ID. Okay. So you can see here 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 12, right? It's, you can see here it's a sequence wise, you can see here. But with the order by name, you can see like this, right? Here you can see instead of 12, this record set list having a 8, right? And same you can see here. So this is the rec order by name. Here, uh, we can also do descending order. So for that, we have to provide here descending, okay? Let me restart the service and you can see here, you can see without with ID ascending order and ID descending order, right? So you can apply order by using like this way. I hope you understood about the search method, okay? If you have any doubt related this topic, please comment below and see you in our next topic. By the way. I skip the conditional part right I will cover in our upcoming session specifically the domain how you can apply with the or condition with the and condition how you can also apply a search with the join query okay so that part I will not cover in this topic because this is the specifically the search method so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session